Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. How are you guys doing out there? All right, so do you struggle with your artwork and you look at it and it kind of looks faded and a little bit dull? Uh, it, it could be the pencil that you're using. It, it, it could be the colors that you're mixing when, when you're painting. A lot of factors can contribute to a flat, faded looking piece of artwork that doesn't really have any pop. Well, there's a, there's a solution to that problem. And in this really short video, I want to share with you part of this masterclass. This masterclass is about an hour long. And the antidote really to a flat and faded piece of artwork, whether it's a drawing or a painting, is understanding the importance of completing a three value study. So what you're looking at here is, is pretty much a, a three value study with a light, a middle tone, and a dark of this painting. So what we're doing in this masterclass is we're really analyzing a whole bunch of paintings. And I remember when, when I first started doing my artwork, all my artwork was just like, it wasn't faded, it was way too dark. Like I was super heavy handed. So I didn't know anything about this three value study. And then when I learned about before starting a piece of artwork to complete a three value study, oh my God, like my paintings stopped being so heavy handed and stopped being so dark. And the same thing with my drawings. So I wanna share with you in, in this next little short video, part of this masterclass and, and the main focus of this part is to just get you to try to incorporate a three value study which you can do with a mechanical pencil and you can do it in like two minutes really small one inch by two inches before you even start your artwork and you go into your artwork understanding that you've got to have a light you've got to have a middle tone and you've got to have a dark and it'll give yourself like a key to kind of start from. Here's another example. This one is more of a four value study. So the sky is the light, the light on her skin and, and her leg is pretty much um, a light middle tone. Then there's a middle tone on the shadow side of her and then there's a dark. Now this is just an average of all the values. That's what you've gotta do. You've gotta take the average. Of course there's a million shades of gray, but this is just how you solve the problem if you have flat and faded artwork. All right, let's get to it. Thanks for watching. So one of the first things that I, I want you to just pay attention to is look at the gradation in the background. So let, let's do this. If, if we're gonna do a very, very quick uh, three value study, let me just get the proper brush. There is no proper brush, but the one that will work fast for this. So this is gonna be our light tone. Now we're taking averages here and this is going to be our light tone. This is also going to be our light tone. Now let's do a middle tone. So let's go here. Okay. And this is all middle tone pretty much. Lots of middle tone here. So that leads me to my light. Now we can do a five value study, but I'm, I'm gonna go, it's not gonna be a perfect three value, but it's, it's gonna be close enough. So now we're gonna go into the dark. Into the dark crevices of this painting. You know, I don't, I don't like that dark on her foot. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna keep that a middle tone. So that pretty much is our three value study, okay? Now, in actuality, are there a gazillion values in there? Yes, but we don't have to be so perfect. Like don't, when you're doing your artwork, uh, don't give yourself so many rules. The, the more, my wife laughs at me when I say this because I have a ton of rules that I live by. But she laughs at me when I say, 
Don't give yourself too many rules. I say this to my kids. The more rules that you give yourself, the more disappointed you're going to be on a daily basis because these rules constantly get broken because it's life. You know, life is not perfect. So same kind of idea with our artwork. It's, it's never going to be perfect. It's just enjoying the process of trying to make it perfect. So it's not a perfect three value study, but that is how I would set up the three value. This is what you need to do with your own artwork. You need to simplify it. You need to simplify it as much as possible. Okay, so that's number one. That is our three value study. You need to do that with your artwork. You need to consider doing it now. How would I do it? Well, basically, because time is limited, I know that a lot of people who are members of drawingtutorialsonline.com work for a living and they do their artwork on the side for fun. So the way that you do this is, and the way that I used to do this was um, I'd get a manuscript and if I'm reading the manuscript for, and I have to do the book cover, I would just make a little sketch with my mechanical pencil and I would just do like a, a quick like little three value study and it would be probably like an inch and a half by an inch. And I would shade it very quick, quickly and, and the whole thing would take me about five big bad minutes. So that is kind of what you want to do, okay? So let me get rid of this. I have to be a little bit neater than that one second or else it's going to lose its power. So if you're at, you're at home and, and you're doing your value, three value study. Now remember, a three value study is the, I think it's called the median in sixth grade math or fifth grade math. So I'm going to say that's our dark, okay? And then I'm going to say that this is going to be our middle tone. Look at that. So cool. Right up the shadow side of her body. And now um, let me just analyze this and make sure I'm happy with that. I'm going to do a four value study. I'm making, I'm, I'm not living by my rules. I don't even have to do anything to the background. So that's the value study. Okay. Isn't that so cool? You need to do this with your own artwork. You really, truly need to do this with your own artwork. Because you need to take all of this complication and simplify it. And, and art, art is hard. Art is so difficult. And then creating your own artwork, oh my God, forget it. It's, it's, it's hard to do this stuff. You got to think about the image. You got to be able to know how to draw. You got to be able to know how to paint. All that fun stuff. So the more you break it down like this, the better. So